Buenos dias, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to Young Minds in Motion, Zoom edition. We're going to start off this morning with reading the book, The Curious Garden, okay? So just like Adisa is, I want everybody sitting with their hands folded, shoulders back, heads up, and ready to learn. The Curious Garden. There once was a city without gardens, or trees, or greenery of any kind. Most people spent their, their time indoors. As you can imagine, it was a very dreary place. However, there was once one boy who loved being outside. Even on drizzly days, while everyone else stayed inside, you could always find Liam happily splashing through his neighborhood. It was on one such morning that Liam made several surprising discoveries. He was wandering around the old railway, as he did from time to time, when he stumbled upon a dark stairway leading up to the tracks. The railway had stopped working ages ago. And since Liam had always wanted to explore the tracks, there was only one thing for curious, for the curious boy to do. Liam ran up the stairs, pushed open the door, and stepped out onto the railway. The first thing he saw was a lonely patch of color. Wildflower and plants were the last thing he had expected to find up there. But when he looked closer, he took a closer look, it became clear that the plants were dying. They needed a gardener. Liam may not have been a gardener, but he knew that he could help. So he returned to the railway the very next day and got to work. The flowers nearly drowned and he had a few he had a few pruning problems but the plants patiently waited while Liam found better ways of gardening As the weeks rolled by Liam began to feel like a real gardener and the plants began to feel like a real garden Most gardens stay in one place, but this was no ordinary garden. With miles of open railway ahead of it, the garden was growing restless. It wanted to explore. Though tough little weeds and mosses were the first to move, they popped up further and further down the tracks and were closely followed by the more delicate plants. Over the next few months, Liam and the curious gardener, Liam and the curious gardener explored every corner of the railway. Look at the blue skies, the green grass, and how the trail rate is now transforming, it's changing. The seasons have changed, it's not green anymore, it looks white. After spending his spring and summer and autumn with the garden, Liam's time on the railway was finally interrupted by winter. Heavy blankets of snow fell on the city that season. And for the first time since he'd become a gardener, Liam could not, could not visit the plants. Rather than waste his winter worrying about the garden, Liam spent it preparing for spring. After three cold months, the snow finally began to melt. And Liam rolled his new gardening gear over to the railway. Winter had taken a toll on the garden. But thanks to Liam's planning, his handy new tools, and a little help from the sun, the plants soon awoke from their winter sleep. 
the garden had always wanted to explore the rest. The gardener had always wanted to explore the rest of the city. And that spring, it was finally ready to make its move. Once again, the tough little weeds and mosses set out first. They popped up further and further from the railway and were closely followed by the more delicate plants. The gardener was especially curious about the old forgotten things. A few plants popped up where they, where they didn't belong. Others mysteriously popped up all at once. But the most surprising thing that popped up were the new gardeners. Look at all those people. Look at the railway changing. The grass is green. Look at the animals they're building out of the bushes. Many years later, the entire city had blossomed, but all the new gardens, Liam's favorite was where it all began. Look how beautiful and green the city looks. The end. That was a wonderful, wonderful book. All right, let's click on Kyla. Kyla, can we go with you first? Kyla, sweetie, I want you to unmute yourself and I want you to tell me what do you remember from the book? What do you remember from that book? No. You don't know? Can I help you? No, it's not. I'm gonna help you a little I'm gonna help you a little bit, okay? But let's sit down, all right? Do you remember seeing flowers? Oh, yes, a little bit. Do you remember seeing grass? Oh, yeah. All right, let's see if Adisa remembers, okay? Okay. Adisa, sweet pea. What do you remember from the story? I remember flowers and grass and houses. And a little boy. And a little boy. So yeah, it began, re remember last week's vocabulary word? It started, it began with one little boy. Yeah, in the end, different. in the end of the story, were there more little boys and girls? Yeah. yeah yes, they Miss, were. Yeah, Miss Miller. Yes, good job, baby. Good job, Adisa. <laughs> Oh, yes. Awesome. Now we're going to change to oh. Lukey. Lucas, honey bunny, do you remember what is the name of the little boy? What did he call himself once he started fixing up the plants and the flowers? What is that G word that he used? He became a... Come take yourself off mute, Lucas. Oh, Good job, babe. Do you remember the name? The gardener. A gardener. Ladies and gentlemen, that is an important word, a gardener. A gardener is what the little boy called himself when he, beca when he became, he started taking care of the plants. Later on, when his other friends and other peers and other community members, just like Young Minds in Motion is a community, other community members came in to help. Adisa, I see you dancing in your seat. What's up, babe? I got a band-aid. You got a band-aid? Is that what you wanted to tell me? I'm I got a boo-boo. You got a boo-boo? But that's okay. We can talk about Adisa's boo-boo, okay? Because Adisa didn't have a boo-boo, right? Then something happened and his skin transformed, right? His skin changed and he got a boo-boo. Now, Adisa wants his, his skin to transform back to normal, where there was no boo-boo. So Adisa put a Band-Aid over it. He covered it. He's letting all the magic and the transformation and the change happen underneath. And when he's done, he's going to take that Band-Aid off. It's going to be all better, right? 
So Adisa's transforming too, right? Adisa's changing too, right? Good job. And that brings us to our first slide of the day. We're going to share screen. Welcome to Young Minds in Motion, Zoom edition. Let's go down. This month, we are talking about transformation. Right, Adisa? Right, Lucas? Right, Kyla? Right, Matthias? We are talking about transformation. What is transformation and how do things change, all right? In this unit, we want to discover many things around us change, things are many there are many ways objects can change there are many kinds of changes in nature some things about me change some things may not change right so let's go down to the calendar what month are we in who knows what month we're in who knows raise your hand dr karen you can pick one What month are we in? Let's go to Matthias. Matthias, can you tell us what month we're in? June. 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 Good job. We are in June. Okay. Yesterday was Monday, June 8th, right? Monday, June 8th. Eight, right after Monday comes Tuesday today is Tuesday June 9th after 8 is 9 right Tuesday June 9th all right so I need a helper a very special helper to help me with the days of the week Dr. Karen would you like to pick one <laughs> You're unmuted. She picked you. Go ahead, Adisa. Let's start off with Sunday. What are the days of the week? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Friday. Yay! That's what I'm talking about, and that's what I love to hear. Adisa, can you tell me what today's date is? Today's date. <laughs> Say, say it calmly. What's the date? June. <laughs> what number? What number? Is it? Uh -huh, I can see. What's that number? It comes after eight and before ten. Nine. Nine. Nine! Thank you, Adisa, for telling us the date and the day of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, today is Tuesday, June 9th. You guys are killing it today. Let's go down to the alphabet, I mean, to the month of the year. So Adisa helped us out with the days of the week and today's date. Who can help me with the months of the year? Dr. Karen, pick one, please. Sure, let us go to, where's Lucas? Lucas, come on up and tell us about the months of the year, please. Lucas! Lucas, come. Can you tell us the months? Lucas, let's start with January. That's right here, okay. Look right there, look. What's that? January. February, this one. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, and... Way to go, Lucas! Good job! Lucas, I have, a trick question, babe. I have a trick question. In what month is Lucas's birthday? Uh, I have a house full, sorry. Come here. It's okay. <laughs> what Lucas month Lucas is your birthday? Lucas, when is your birthday? Valentine's Day. Say it again. 
25th and he gave us the date lucas what holiday is in october what holiday is it christmas halloween, halloween. i didn't even need to tell you lucas that is on a road awesome sauce who can help us out with the seasons who can help me out with the seasons can we do Matthias? Matthias, good job, thank you. We want to okay. see your face. Mati, yo quiero ver esa carita linda. Baja la cámara un team. Put the camera down just a little bit. Can you help me out with the seasons, babe? All right, thank you. What season is Dr. Karen pointing to right now? What season is that? Wendy. Winter, good job. Next season. What season is that right there that Dr. Karen is pointing to? She's wearing a rain jacket. A rain jacket. Spring. Good job. Now let's go down. This is our favorite. The sand, the beach. Ooh, what season is that? Sunny. Summer. Good job. Now what season is the last one right there where the leaves are falling and they're orange? Is it uh, 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 Autumn. Autumn. Good job. And can you be my weatherman for me, baby boy? Can you tell me what the weather is looking like outside? Is it stormy? Mm -mm. Is it snowy? Mm -mm. Is it windy? Mm -mm. Or is it sunny? Mm -mm. It's sunny. So my, what would Matthias wear today? Is Matthias wearing a raincoat? No, right? Is Matthias wearing snow boots? No. Is Matthias wearing a snow hat? No. Is Matthias wearing shorts? Yes, right? And a short sleeve shirt and some sunglasses and we're enjoying that sun, all right? Now let's go down to our shapes. You guys are doing awesome. I'm loving it. Now for our shapes, I want my baby Kyla to help me, okay? Is Kyla still here? No, I don't see. All right, we're going to start off with um, Buenos Dias, Karina. We're going to start off with Adisa. Adisa, I'm going to give you some shapes, okay? And I want you to try your absolute best to tell me the names of them. Can we do that? Yes? All yes. right. So, Dr. Karen, I want you to point to the gongs for oh. Adisa. What gongs? Yeah, to all the gongs for Adisa. <laughs> all right? One at a time. Adisa, what is that shape right there? Um, a pendulum. Let's go. What color is that shape? Purple. Purple. Point to another gone for me, please, Dr. Karen. Which one is that one? Um, a uh, awesome guy? Mm-mm. This has oh. six guys. Um, a uh, hexagon? Hexagon! Keep going. Go all the way down, Dr. Karen. Yup. Well, how about that one? Um, octagon. Very octagon. Good. Awesome. And let's point to uh, all the way over, Dr. Karen. That one right there. What's that, baby? Huh? Really? Baby, you're the baby. You're the big boy. Okay. Big boy. I'm sorry, big boy. What's that, babe? Shape. I mean, big boy. A little girl. Parallelogram. We need to throw a parade. Bum, ba, da, da. Way to go, Mr. Adisa. You no, killed no, that. Let me go, let me go. Yes. Who's on the roll? Adisa's on the roll. Who's on the roll? Adisa's on the roll. <laughs> Good 
dog. So now let's go to our little buddy, Lucas. Lucas, honey, come up. I need you to help me with some shapes, okay? Come on. A little closer. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, um, I Lucas, I want you to help me out with these shapes right here. Um, what is that, Lucas? This one right here. Star! Star, good. What is that shape right there, Lucas? It's like this one. Oh, oh, oh. Dr. Carroll, can you go to one of the guns for him? Thank you. One of the guns. Okay. I'm sorry, I have background coming in. I'm trying to. Sorry, can you click on one of the guns for Lucas? Good. Lucas, what shape is that one right there? Right here, this one. Triangle. No, it's not triangle. Look at it. Look at the letter it starts with. It starts with a. Oh, you okay? Uh oh. <laughs> It's a hexagon. Okay. A hexagon. Good job, Lucas. Way to go, mom. Great job with these shapes, okay? Now let's go down one and we're going to do some exercise, okay? Perfect. I want to see everyone up. Miss Waylon is standing up. Everyone's up. Lucas up. Lucas's buddies, if you want to do some exercise, come on, guys, come join in. Matthias, I want to see you standing up as well. Everyone up, up, up. And get, get ready to move. Going. All right, now we're doing our jumping jacks. We're going to count from one to the number 20 doing jumping jacks, okay? Are we ready? Set and begin. One. right here. 
and I want you guys to run the fastest you can in place, okay? And we are gonna go from 60 to 80. Ready, set, everybody kick it in gear, and begin. Mm. 81, 82, I mean 61, 62, 63, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, and 80. Park the car and deep breath in. Deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out. Now from 80 to 100, you guys are going to put your arms wide like an airplane, and you guys are going to do small circles backwards like this, okay? All right? We're going from 80 all the way to 100, and begin, 81. 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100! We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Let's go back to our seats. Great job, everyone. Back in your seats, hands folded. Now, Adisa, honey, how are you feeling after your workout and count to 100? We gotta wait for it to unmute. Happy! Happy! Are you feeling energetic? No. No? You feeling tired? No. You're just happy. Yeah. Miss Waylon is out of breath. <laughs> and I did the bare minimum. That shows Miss Waylon that she needs to get back in the gym. All right? <laughs> Dr. Karen, how are you feeling? I am feeling... Ah, exhilarated. I feel joyous. I feel pumped. Ready to start my day. Look, guys, that is what exhilarated looks like. Good job. Lucas! Lucas, how are you feeling after your workout, honey? How do you feel after your workout? Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Do any of your friends want to share how they feel? Yeah. <laughs> How do you guys I, feel, honey? She doesn't talk the baby, but say, say I'm feeling strong, right? Strong. Yeah. <laughs> strong. Look what strong looks like to her. That's her muscle. She's feeling strong. Good. Now let's slide over to Matthias. Mati, are you still there, honey? Nope. All right, let's transition back to our, oh, Matias is there. Yay. Matias, honey, how are you feeling? Happy. Happy. Can I see what happy looks like? Let me see your face. Show us a smile and show us what happy looks like. Wepa, good job, mi amor. Good. All right, now let's scroll down to our vocabulary words. Awesome. All right, so we just shared how we felt after our workout, right? We just worked out, we count to 100, and after the workout, Dr. Karen felt exhilarated, Adisa and Matthias felt happy, and Lucas and Lucas's buddy felt strong after the workout. We did the workout, and then when it ended, 
after we shared how it felt, all right? Bigger, bigger, right? So these bag of chips are big, but this bowl of noodle is bigger. All right, camouflage. Camouflage is when things blend in. Camouflage. So if you have a green little lizard and he's hiding in green grass, he is going to camouflage. You cannot see him because he is blending in. Now let's go to continue. Continue. We are going to continue with our vocabulary words. We are going to keep going. We are going to continue with our vocabulary words, all right? Darker, darker, all right? So I have this bag of chips and these post-its. This green is darker than this green right here. Develop, develop, develop. When we are drawing a picture, we are developing a photo, right? When we are writing, we are developing a word. We are putting things together so that it can finish. It can be completed. It is being developed so that things can be finished, so it can end, so it can be completed. Evaporate. Evaporate. After it rains, the water makes a puddle on the ground, and it gets hot and the sun sucks it back up to the sky and it evaporates back up to the sky. Feet. Can everybody show me their feet? Let me see your feet. Who knows what feet is? Who knows what feet is? Good job. This is Lucky's feet. Let me see your foot, Adisa. Good, Adisa's buddy, I see your feet back there. Good, this is Lucky's little foot. Good job, Adisa. Good job, Lucas. Good job, Lucas's buddy. Now we have freeze, freeze. When we take water and we put it into the freezer, it gets really, really, really cold and the water freezes and it makes ice, ice. That's when something gets really, 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 really cold. Grow. Grow is when something is getting bigger. Bigger. It is growing. Lucas is growing. Adisa is growing. Kyla is growing. Right? Lucas's friends are growing. Hopefully, Miss Whalen doesn't grow anymore. We're growing. Harder. 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 Have we ever knocked on a block and it's hard? And then you knock on a stuffed animal and it's soft. The block is harder than the stuffed animal. Let's go to heavier. 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 Miss Whalen is heavier than Lucas. Miss Whalen is heavier than Lucas, right? So I'm going to hold this. And I'm going to hold this. And this is heavier heavier inches 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 is how we measure what's growing right so when you go to the doctor and you stand up and they put that thing on your head and they're measuring how tall lucas is how tall adisa is they're measuring it in inches all right let's go to less i know you guys know what less is less a little bit less a little bit we could have more and then we could have less lighter lighter just like heavier right this ipad was heavier than this bag of chips these chips were lighter than this ipad magnify to make bigger magnify to make bigger more more is a lot I want more chips and more chips and more chips. Newer, newer, all right? These earrings are newer and shinier and prettier than this bracelet right here. This bracelet is old. 
worn and rugged. All right, let's go to off. Off. When you go into the bathroom, you turn the light on, then you turn it off, right? When I'm going to use this, I'm going to turn it on, right? Now it's on, and then I'll turn it off. Okay, let's go to older. Older is the opposite of newer, right? Miss Waylon said these earrings were nice and new and shiny. They're newer, they're shinier, it's prettier. Let's go to purpose. Purpose. All right, so Miss Whalen has these sticky papers, right? And the purpose of this sticky paper is for me to write on it. Purpose is what something is used for, okay? So if you have a chair, is a chair for standing? No. A chair is not for standing. That is not the purpose of a chair. The purpose of a chair is to sit your hiney on it, right? To sit down. That is the purpose of a chair. Recycle. Recycle, right? So Ms. Waylon has this piece of paper, right? And I could write on this paper because that's the purpose of the paper. Or I can fold it up. And I could recycle it and reuse it and repurpose it into an airplane. You see that? So it was a paper for me to write on, but I repurposed it. I recycled it. I reused it as an airplane. And now it can fly. All right, let's go shrink shrink all right let's use this paper again i have this paper and miss whalen is going to shrink it miss whalen is going to make it smaller see i'm going to crumple it up crumple it up crumple it up crumple it up i shrunk it is it the same size anymore it's not the same size i shrunk it i made it teeny weeny i made it smaller i shrunk it and i made it smaller Let's go to softer, okay? This is rough. But this fuzzy little keychain right here with all the hair and the plush is softer. Softer, all right? Now let's go to stages. This one's a tricky one, okay? Stages. When uh, Matthias was a baby, right? He used the bottle. He was in the baby stage. Now, Matthias does not use a bottle anymore. Matthias is a toddler and he uses a sippy cup. He stages. He's at a different stage. And then soon enough, Matthias is going to be like Miss Whalen and drinking in a regular cup or drinking coffee because you're tired, okay? Good job. So now I'm going to click on one student at a time. I'm going to pick a word, and you're going to tell me what you remember from that vocabulary word, okay? Hmm. Matthias. Matthias. What does it mean when something is smaller? What is smaller? Is this smaller or is this smaller? Is huh? the green smaller or the orange smaller? The orange. So which one is bigger? The green. The green one. Awesome. Let's go to Adisa. Adisa, sweet pea. So if Miss Whalen is holding this bowl of noodles, right? And this bag of chips, which one is heavier? Um, are the chips lighter the than the bowl of soup? Which one is heavier? Um, which one is heavier? Or a chip? Um, a chip. No. Look at my hands. Let me stand up for you, okay? Oh, look at her hands. So Miss Waylon is holding this and this, right? So I pick up the chips. Oh, chips. Then I pick up the soup. Ugh. Soup. <laughs> Which one is heavier? Which one is heavier? 
Um, Which one looks like it's heavier for her to hold? Soup. Yeah. The soup. So Adisa, now which one is lighter? Um, the other one. Um, what's that? The chips, right? What is it? What is this? All right, Adisa, I'm going to stay with you, right? Okay. Miss Waylon loves eating chips, right? <laughs> Miss Waylon loves eating chips. This one is not enough. I want more. Which one's more? Which one has, which hand has more in it? This. Which one is more? Is this more or is this more? That is more. What color are they? Um, um, I can't see. You can see what color they are. Oh, uh, what is it? <laughs> what color is the bag? What color is the bag? Red and green. Right. Red and green. Good job. This is more. So, Adisa, if this is more, this is a lot, this is less. This is a little bit. All right? This is more. You hear that? More. And this, a little bit. You don't hear nothing, okay? The opposite. All right? Now let's go to Lucas. That's my sister. Ain't my sister? That's not my Lucas. Mm -hmm. Lucas, Miss Whitman has this chair, right? Yes. Look, what is the purpose of a chair? Of the what do you chair? do with a chair? Do I put my feet on it? Do I stand on it? You what? Yeah. You guys just talk louder, baby. You talk on it. it. You it's sit right. on it. You got it. The purpose of a chair is not for Miss Wayland to put her feet on it. It's for Miss Wayland to sit on it. Right? Good job, guys. Now let's go to our numbers. <laughs> Let's go to our numbers. As Dr. Karen mentioned yesterday, although we did an exercise and we recited the words, number recognition is very, very, very important. So as best as you can, we're gonna have the kids and ourselves follow along and say the number at the same time as they're pointing to the number so they can build that correlation and connection. Are we ready? We're gonna count? I don't know, do we look ready? Adis is ready. Lucas's sister looks ready. Ven, Matias, no te veo listo, mi amor. There we go. Now let's start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's go to eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. I want to see you guys following along. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 
62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Guys, get ready. We're almost there. 91. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Awesome! Can everybody please bring up their whiteboards? Who's ready with their whiteboards? I see your Deese is ready with his whiteboard. Matthias, you have your pen and paper, babe? Miss Waylon, do you want me to put up a blank whiteboard? Mm-mm, because I want yeah. them to do it. Yes, I don't want them to have a, a, a stencil. I want to see how much they know. Now, Adisa, sweetheart, can you please write the number 12 for me? A one and a two together make the number 12. Hold it up. Good job, babe. Now, with that number 12, I want Adisa to put 12 dots underneath the number 12. 12 dots underneath the number 12. Lucas, while Adisa is working, I want you, Lucas, to do the number 13. The number 13, Lucas, is a one and a three together. Come on, come to the screen, Lucas. Let me see, babe. Bring your whiteboard. Good job. Now I want you to write the number 13. You're gonna write a one and a three. Together, make the number 13. Matthias, do you have your whiteboard? Matthias, I want you to write the number 14 for me. Good. I want you to write the number 14. A one and a four together make the number 14. A one and a four together. Good job, Lucas. Lucas, now next to that number 13, I want you to put 13 dots next to it. Adisa, can you unmute yourself and count those out for me, please? Count those out for me, please. 
Unmute. Un okay, we're unmuted. All right, Lucas, count the dots. Come. So, can you hear us? Hello? I'm listening. Go ahead, Lucas. All right, go ahead. Count, Lucas, count the dots. to write. They're not going to be in order because I know you guys know that song, okay? So let's start. A. 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 Apple. B. 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 Bird. C. C. Cat. D. 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 Duck. E. F, F, elephant. And S, frog. Good job, Matthias. G, 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 goat. H, horse. For the H, you're going to sound like you're a little out of breath. Horse. I, E, E. Igloo. J, 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 Jug. K, 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 Kite. L, 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 Leaf. Mmm, like something is delicious. Mmm, mmm, Monkey. Mmm, N, N, Nest. O. Ah, ah, octopus. P, 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 pumpkin. Q, qu, qu, queen. R, 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 rabbit. S, 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 skunk. T, 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 turtle. U. Umbrella. V, 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 Valentine. W, 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 watermelon. X, 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 x ray. Y, 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 yarn. And Z, 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 zebra. Good job. So now let's go to Lucas. Lucas, honey, what letter of the alphabet does Lucas start with? What is the first letter of your name? What is the first letter? What's the first letter? Lucas, what's your letter? Can you show me that on the on the on the board? What's your first name? Um, e. No. What letter is this? this one? One. No, that's not a one. It's an L. 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 Lucas. L. L. Lucas. La. L. L. Lucas. L. L. Lucas, can you write your name on the whiteboard for me, please? What do you want him to do? I'm sorry. Write, write his name on the whiteboard, and then I'm going to come back to him, and then he's going to spell his letters out. Adisa, okay. honey, 
What is the first letter of your name? What is the first letter of your name? A. A for Adisa. All right, Adisa, I want you to write out your first name on your whiteboard, okay? Now let's go to Matthias. Matthias, mi amor, what is the first letter in your name? Matthias, honey, are you there? All right, let's go back to Lucas. When you guys are ready, show your boards. I'm also going to write my name. Matías, escribe tu nombre en tu papel. All right, who's ready? Awesome Lucas. job, Lucas. Lucas, can you spell out the letters in your name? What is that first letter? What first letter? Remember we just said it? <laughs> L. Say L. L. U. U. C. C. A. A. S. S. Lucas. Lucas. One more time, Lucas. One more time. L. L. L U, U. C. A. A. Say louder. A. A. S. S. Lucas. Yep. I want you to work on that today, Lucas, okay? All right? Okay. L U C A S. Lucas. L U C A S. Lucas. L U C A S. Lucas. We're going to work on that today, all right? Okay. Adisa, let's see yours. Good job, Adisa. Adisa, what are those letters in your name? Can you spell it out? Slowly. Go ahead. Point to the A. Point to the A. A. Uh huh. Keep going. What's the next letter? A. S. A. Wow, you did it in sign language. Too. Good. Did you did see it his in hand? sign language? <laughs> Good job. Can you show us that one more time? Go ahead, Adisa. One more time, babe. You're not listening if you're talking. She's asking. One more time. Let's see the sign language. Can you do it in sign language again so they can see you? Mm. In sign language with your hands. Show. Um, I have hands. Yes, you do. You just did it. Okay. A. A. The other hand. Use the other hand. I think we put him on the spot. I saw you do it the first time, so I know you can do oh, it, yeah. Adisa. I'm super awesome. proud of you. Good job. Matthias, honey, are you ready? Matthias! Good job, babe. The first letter of Matthias' name is a M, all right? So I'm going to help Matthias out because his name is really long and he's sitting there alone, okay? All right, Matthias, we're going to do your name together, babe, okay? So we have M, A, T, H, I, A, S. Matthias, M, A, T, H, I, A, S. Matthias, M, A, T, H, I, A, S. Matthias. Good job, sweetie. Then I'm going to do my name, Miss Waylon. All right. I'm not going to do the Miss part. I'm just going to do Waylon. All right. W W W E E E Y 
y y and then l o i uh, n mm. and this right here is going to be a combination that you guys learn soon lin way lin dr karen do you want to do yours sure can can you see mine yes now yes yes my name is karen k K-A-R-E-N. K-A-R-E-N. My handwriting isn't as nice as Ms. Wayland's. <laughs> so mine is Karen. K-A-R-E-N. Good job. So all those letters of the alphabet, when we take some out and put them together, that's how Adisa's name was made. That's how... Karen was name was made. That's how Waylon's name was made. Matthias and Lucas's name. We use the letters that are in the alphabet to create words. We take the sounds and we put them together. What what eh, eh. Waylon Waylon and we put them together and we make a word. All right. So I want you guys to give yourself a round of applause because you guys sat well. You guys didn't fidget. You guys took your eyes, didn't take your eyes off the screen. Lucas brought in his buddies, the more the merrier. And you guys were ready to learn today, all right? So you guys sit up. I want your proud arms ready. I want you guys to see me well. Your proud arms ready. I want your muscles ready. Are we ready, guys? One, two, three. We are proud. We are strong. We are young mind and motion. Deb. Adios.